Today is gonna to be a relatively short video. We're gonna go over the East Saint Laurent Mini Clutch in shade 400. This is also known as Casba Spices. Now, I've done videos with uh, the quad that's numbered 100, which I think is Stella Dolls, and then 300, with his, which is Babylon Roses. I'm not sure which one has gone up. I know 100's gone up, but I don't know if 300's gone up yet. And like I said, this is the 400. Casbah Spices. This is a warmer um, quad and I think it will be, I think the Stella Dolls, the 100, is going to be the most popular. We'll see. Um, Babylon Roses is for anyone who likes like a plummy kind of cool look. It's very pretty. It's, it, the formula is the same in both. So let's go ahead and try the one today and see if the formula is the same and it looks to be a warm neutral but we'll find out. All right, let, let us swatch first. So if you've watched any of my uh, videos about any of the Yves Saint Laurent quads, I will tell you that they are all, at least the ones I have tried, they, yeah, and this one too, very soft formula. They feel a little bit like the um, Dior's when they first came out three years ago with their new formula. And it feels a little like the Tom Ford Creme formula, super soft, they go on beautifully, very comfortable on the eyes. This is a matte, this is a matte, this is a matte, or they're, maybe they're satins, and then this is a, uh, a shimmer. All of them have a beautiful, uh, like I said, soft, creamy feel to them. They last all day, they wear really well, haven't had any problems with my eyes, my eyes are very dry and sensitive, they don't irritate them. Again, I am... I'm thrilled with the formula in all of these. 0.14 ounces, four grams, and I'd also say they have a shelf life of 24 months compared to the Dior ones that came out three years ago with the pine oil and the aloe that had a shelf life of six months. Now, depending on how you take that, <laughs> these probably have preservatives in them, but I would just say, for me, you know, I keep my powders for a very long time, but having a shelf life of two years for an expensive product to me, is better than having one that has a shelf life of six months. Although I've kept my Dior products way past six months and they're all fine. Not that I'm telling you to do that, I'm just saying. So let's go ahead and start. Obviously this is a warmer toned uh, quad, although I'd say this brown is more neutral, maybe even a little cool, but we'll, we'll see. But I think you're gonna get a warm look because I think this pumpkin is gonna kinda take over the look. Um, but what I'm gonna try to do is, is not have it do that. So I'm gonna use that like beige color, this color here, sort of as the eye um, lid. We'll put that over it and we'll try to keep these more as accents. Now I love a good pumpkin shade. It works with my eye color. Um, the On a color wheel, the opposite of blue is orange. So if you use an orangey shade, you're gonna find that it's going to make your eyes, if you have blue eyes, make your eyes look even bluer. So I like those types of shades, but not everybody does. So I wanna show you that you know, this is a quad that if you like a warm neutral, um, you can use it even if you don't like, you know, having an orange, all orange look. So this isn't as pumpkin-y on the eyelid as it is in the swatches. It definitely is, you know, orange, but I think it's more of a, like a cool orange almost, almost like a salmon color, a little bit of pink to it, not too, not too super orange, like in the Guerlain, which one was it? Was it Wild News or Undressed Brown? I think it was Wild News, it had more of an orange orange. This has a little bit of pink. It's not too, not too orange for those of you who really don't like that. Uh, all right, so let's take the beige shade or the cream shade actually. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Very creamy, like I said, and I'm gonna blend it into the um, pumpkin shade at the top but I'm gonna keep it like just big uh, cream on the eye. You can see what I mean. Yeah, it's a nice cream because it's it's so soft that it, it actually covers the eye. I don't have a primer on. And a lot of times the issue with like a cream shade is you put it on and it's so translucent that it doesn't actually, you know, cover the eye. So you don't really get cream. You just basically get the color of your lid. This one, it's definitely like a thick um, color, which is great because it has opacity and you can use it to, you could even use it as a primer. And what I'm doing 
is I'm kind of taking that and going over the brow area and blending it into the orange shade. You can see I tamped down the orange shade quite a bit. Now I'm gonna take the, the sparkly shade, the shade here, we're gonna do the brown last. I'm gonna put that on the lid. Start with my finger, which usually works the best. Kalinsky brushes work really well. I have the Hakuhoda ones. I've gotten a lot of questions about those brushes over every time I use them. And yes, they work great, especially for a shade like this. They are really hard to find. I bought them um, from a uh, few Japan a, uh, a while back, um, and they're really hard to get now. They've been out of stock for quite some time. Hakuhoto USA does not have them. Um, yeah, they're just difficult to get. And um, I think it's a supply issue, but you know, I don't know if, when they're coming back to stock. This is the brush I'm talking about. This one is 123. Um, they do have, I think you have an easier time finding them without the vermilion handles, the orange handles. You, they do come in like a black handle. Um, just look for the number Hakuhoto 123 or the other one is um, 120, just different size. All right, so you can see I've kept it very light. The sparkle on the top is very pretty. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely a cooler toned look. So, I mean, a warmer toned look. So now I'm gonna take the brown and we'll deepen it up. Just running it here on the outer corner, just kind of making circles. So this is definitely, like I said, I've kept, I've lightened it by using a lot of that cream, but this is a lighter look. I think if you want to, you know, emphasize the orange, you absolutely can salmon orange i mean it's not it's really not that orangey it reminds me of something and i can't for right now it might be the one by dior that i um what was the name of it it had come out uh, what was it it'll, it'll come to me um and i had worn it a couple of times and i hadn't done a review on it but then i did a review on it um why can't i remember the name of it but there is a similarity with that one um because it's like a light kind of golden -y amber kind of look. The cream is very light though, and I do like that. If you like, you know, a very light look for the lid, it does it really well. It's hard to find a good cream. All right, let me put some mascara on, come right back and I'll tell you what's on my lips and we'll talk final thoughts about the quad. And we're back with mascara. So yeah, I, I really like this look. I, so I'm trying to remember what the, the quint was in Dior and it came to me, it's Amber Pearl. I think Amber Pearl and Casbah Spices have a similar vibe, this sort of gold, soft, you know, um, with some brown in it and cream. I think there are similarities between the Amber Pearl and the Casbah Spices. As I have said about the other two uh, quads that I have from YSL, the 300, which is the Babylon Roses and the 100 Stella Dolls, I don't think these color stories are revolutionary. I mean, to be very honest, if you have a, a large collection, there's, there aren't really new shades anymore. I mean, there are some, you know, you have duochromes and multichromes and that kind of thing, but it's really the combination of the shades in a palette, in a quad, in a quint, that make it interesting. Uh, because the, you, there's only so many different shades you can do. And if you have a large collection like I do, yes, you probably have the shades before. However, I would say that the combination and the way these are done, I think is really well curated. And I think the formula is really exceptional. There's something about these, the softness to these that I'm really impressed by. I will say, if you're somebody who likes embossing, the embossing is ruined the minute you touch it. But they are so soft and they, they feel so comfortable on the eye and they last all day, and I think I think they're really good for, for anyone. I think they're you know great for a more mature eye because you don't have to worry about them being dry or patchiness. They go on perfectly smoothly. You can use synthetic brushes. You can use more heavy hitters. You can use natural brushes. You can use your finger with them um, to put on the sparkle. I mean, I just think they create a beautiful look. All three have performed perfectly. There's not one shade in here that performs badly. Um, in the 300, I think there were two shades that were very similar to one another, but I mean, I've seen that before. Um, 
you know, I don't, I, that was my favorite thing, but, but again, I, I still think they all performed perfectly. So between the, the 100, 300, and 400, because I've done them all now, the 100 is my favorite. Um, the Stella Dolls, I think, is really a unique looking uh, quad, even though it looks very much like soft cashmere and, and bow mask. There's something about the shimmer shade in there that, ha that has like a wetter look. I can't really put my finger on it, but it has that more sort of metal lust vibe. And, and I really like the way it looks on the eye, really do. Um, so 100 is probably my favorite. Um, and then probably this one, because I like warm tones next to my, my blue eyes and my warmer hair, and then the 300. But I have to say, I really do like them all a, a great deal. And I would definitely put these as um, buy nows, uh, depending on you know what color story you like. I will be picking up more color stories. Um, you know, if I can get that blue one, I will. I know right now, I think it's just available in Paris, but um, again, they're not in the United States yet. Uh, I, I would certainly let you know as soon as they're here, here. I strongly recommend them. Don't be like on the lookout for just some like revolutionary color. I don't think that's what these are, but I do think they are excellent formulas. They stay on all day. They wear beautifully. They're easy to use. You know, exactly what you, I mean, what else can you ask for? Yeah, you know, and I think the packaging is, is actually quite nice. Um, you know, it has that luxurious quilting with the YSL. I think, you know, they did a good job. Uh, and on my lips is the Jimmy Choo Orange Kiss Gloss. The gloss is excellent. It gives a great deal of pigment for a gloss. It's comfortable. It's kind of a little bit plumping. It really looks good on, on your lips. I don't love the packaging. I just think it's like too much and it falls over. So you always have to keep it on its side, which I find irritating, but the gloss is really good. <laughs> so uh, it's a little pricey. Look for a sale. There's gonna be a lot of sales, guys, a lot of sales. Um, this time of year, they're gonna be getting rid of, you know, old stuff waiting for, for fall and uh, holiday will be right around the corner. Um, but yeah, look for sales. Cause you know, I never, like even for things that I absolutely love, you know, these are high price points. Definitely wait for sales, unless it's something that's limited edition and it's, you're never gonna be able to get it again. And even then, it's just makeup, so. Um, but like these East Saint Laurent, my understanding is these are permanent. That's what I've been told. So once they're here, they'll, they'll continue to be here. Uh, the Jimmy Choo glosses, I think are, I don't think these are limited edition. I think they're, you know, part of a normal collection. So there's not, wait for sales. <laughs> wait for 20% off or something like that um, and pick them up. I'm really curious to, to hear, um, I think all three uh, YSL uh, clutches will have gone up by now, so I'd love to hear which one's your favorite, which color story you like the most. It'll be interesting to see which ones are the most popular. Um, in other countries, I think 100's been the most popular, but I haven't really, I, it's uh, harder for me to track. Um, so when they come to the US, it'll be easier for me to kind of gauge uh, with my essays that are here and try to figure out like, you know, what's been selling, but I'm gonna guess the 100 is, is gonna be the most popular, we'll see. You never know. But yeah, I'd be interested in hearing uh, which one's your favorite. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.